Hey everyone, it is Saturday, June 24th. The time is just after 5 p.m. And the temperature is around 24 degrees Celsius. And I am here just south of the intersection of Church and Dundas. I'm currently walking north up Church Street. And just on the north side of the intersection here is the start of the annual Pride Festival here in Toronto. And this runs from Dundas Street here up to north of Church and Wellesley. I'm not sure where exactly it ends. I think somewhere maybe around Isabella and Church Street. We'll be going through the village. So I'll just be taking a stroll through the festival here. So I think the festival doesn't really pick up until we get north of Carlton. There's a lot of smaller vendors and food stalls and that sort of thing for this first stretch. And I recorded this event last year, and I did in 2019, but obviously in between those years we had a little pandemic. And I think the theme for this year's Pride Month in Toronto is here, there, everywhere, and it is supposed to be equal parts party and protest. And I really don't know much more about that. As I tried to go to the PrideToronto.com website, and it wasn't really working today. I think it had been overwhelmed with traffic requests. There's a number of events planned throughout the weekend, and there is a schedule online. A lot of food trucks, poutine, funnel cake. And I think this is a good time for me to switch out my camera. I'm going to switch to one that I can keep elevated. Otherwise, if I walk through the crowds, it might just be a bunch of backs and shoulders. So we'll get a better perspective of things. going to pull into this park here. I will sort that situation out. I see some nudity to my right, so I'm going to spin around in this direction to avoid it. It's always tricky at this particular festival. I remember my first year recording it. I spent much of the night just blurring things out. 
Anyways, I'm going to switch camera rigs and I'll be back hopefully in a minute. And we're back. And I now have the ability to do this. I actually forgot my mount that allows me to rig the camera up so high, so I had to go to a Dollarama and buy some tape and a pair of scissors. So today's setup is a little bit MacGyvered. There's Colombian street food. An ice cream truck, that's where I would be going. Poutine, if you're wondering, the burgers there are $15, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it said 15, and I think a poutine was 13. So this was on yesterday. I think it started late afternoon on Friday. But it was also raining for much of the evening last night. It didn't stop, I think, until about 7 or 8 p.m. So I decided to come record this today and tomorrow is the big pride parade. I recorded that last year. I'm gonna try to come out and record it tomorrow. I also wanna record pedestrian Sundays in Kensington Market. But I think Pride Week was declared an official event in Toronto back in 1994. And the first parade in Toronto was in June of 81. Pride event of its kind was back in 71. That was a gathering held on the Toronto Islands, I think at Hamlet's Point. This is Gerard Street. Yeah, it looks like most of the crowds are over here on the right side, so this is probably where we want to be. still carries on while the parade is taking place. <laughs> There's an interesting outfit, costume. I don't want to offend anyone <laughs> with my choice of words. So last week we had Taste a Little Italy, and then the week before that we had Do West Fest. I think there's some smaller festivals taking place throughout the city, but this would be the third major street festival of the year. And Church Street is on the east side of downtown. It runs parallel to Young Street. It's probably the most interesting people watching festival. And the forecast said there might be thunderstorms this afternoon. I do have with me but it doesn't look like that'll be necessary. You 
Ukrainian LGBTQ plus activists speak out. Hey, oh, hello. How are you? Good, you? Yeah, good. Good, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you too. Enjoy the festival. Happy Pride. <laughs> Cheers. Ran into a few friendly viewers today well, already. Like for, like, walking and there is Maple Leaf Gardens. So I think things are typically much busier north of Carlton Street here. And we'll be walking through an area known as the Church Wellesley Village. That is where the heart of Toronto's LGBTQ plus community is centered. Let's try to get inside the fenced area here on the left. This is Church and Wood Street. human. I'm not sure where this ranks amongst different pride festivals in the world, but it's certainly on the larger side. I was in Amsterdam last year, and the day I flew out was the day their pride kicked off. So I don't really have that as a reference point to compare it to. Happy pride! <laughs> she handed me a Hamilton one! No, and now we're moving slowly. I'm sure there'll be lots of other videos on YouTube and vlogs and that sort of thing that show off these different booths and vendors. Uh, 
Alexander Street. Oh, it looks like there's something going on on the west side of the intersection here. Okay, on the bike, arch your back. We take a step, we push, we take another step, we push. We're gonna do that again to the same beat. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, step. Keep it going. Keep it going. Okay, Fab, I'm keeping it really, really quickly because we don't have much time. We're going to add hands. Pretty sure that's not basketball they were playing. Hey, I remember this guy from when I recorded this in 2019. He was in the same spot. in the heart of the area known as the village right now. intersection you have bars with patios on three corners. naked guy <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remind myself to double check that <laughs> part of the video before I upload it. Whoops. 
I can blur things after the fact once it's been uploaded, but I'd rather it not come to that. I don't need this video being age restricted. I'd like for everyone to have access to it. That's kind of the idea with a festival like this. Free wine samples. That's the wine rack. I would like that, but I don't really feel like lining up. And this is Wellesley Street, so just off to the west here is Wellesley Station. Looks like there's some things set up along here. nudity avoided there. Where did they say he was? Like, uh, outside of Torch. Oh, it looks like there's some kind of party area over here. Imagine that'll pick up at night time. See if I can sneak back through. There we go. by TD. Again, today I couldn't access the Pride website. I was going to rely on that for information about the event, but it wasn't really working. What? Whoop. Can we get over? <laughs> One guy looked at me and smirked while I was doing that. I'm nearing the north end of Church Street.
like y'all got some. <laughs> Carrying his dog, that's awesome. So I think yesterday they held the Trans March I saw online. And this is Isabella Street. will be pretty lively till about 1 a.m. if I'm not mistaken. Check your moles here. Mobile skin cancer screening. Set up by Melanoma Canada. I'd say it's a short festival distance-wise. It's going a little north than I thought it might. Those can't be too pleasant to use. the walk around the 2023 Toronto Pride Street Festival. That gave me some good practice for fighting through a crowd while recording for tomorrow's parade if I end up doing that. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you wish to support what I do here on YouTube. There's links to my channel membership and YouTube, or rather Patreon down in the description i have an instagram account at johnny strides and there is a super thanks button appearing below the video if you wish to say thanks that way anywho i'm gonna put the camera gear away head over to bluer station and head home so happy pride everyone hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next one Yoink. <laughs>